wants to write a hearty toast, wants a life without a care. His sunburn is insane, but he'll never complain, cause his skin is just as fried as his brain. He'll remain on the beach, that's his domain. And Toast thinks, think it is nothing but a Sigmund Freud is known as the father of psychoanalysis. In 1886, he studied and treated the mental illness hysteria. Someone he never met was... John Andre to surrender the American fort at West Point, which destroys germs and helps prevent infection. Forgive me for saying this, that you don't sound like the healing medicine. Well, I'm gonna heal someone with some medicine. I need to know what is to be done then. It was the affection that spreads the heart of the people. Hey, madam, have you considered the people's infection on the forehead? This is abominable. It's so unsanitary here. More soldiers are dying from infections than from being shot. As for the American Revolution, I need to speak to the British spy who captured the plan of the West Point plan and surrendered the West Point to the British headquarters. It was John Edwin. Her name was Florence Nightingale. Previously on Nightingale. Tonight's episode, The Natural Fault. Mr. John Edwin, I'm so proud for you to come over to my hospital. Right this way, there's something Florence Nightingale want to show you how. See this? Our janitor works for our company. And Florence Nightingale is working on reversing the infections. Maybe disease comes from stinky odors. Therefore, everything must be sanitized. Huh? I want the whole hospital sterilized. Uh, forgive me for saying this, but you don't sound British. Duh, uh. That's because I'm from England, dude. Oh, right, of course. Whoosh. Now you can see why they need my help. Hey, we can get up to the roof through here! You are correct, sir. Push, everybody! Ah! Hi -oh. <laughs> Yo, Nurse Nightingale! Easy with the tickle deck to me! He's gonna be alright. Hallelujah! Looks like our job here is done, friends. Looks like John Edward is healed up from the hot burning heat wave place on Earth. Whoosh! Thank you, Panama Teddy! You've saved hundreds of canal workers from deadly diseases! Hey, 